Do you want to level up 10 days in just one week on Swift? Yes, you can. You heard it right. With the guide I prepared for you, you can do in only 7 days. And I'm also giving you 7 tips on how to boost your XP and win more races and also level up faster. Hi Crankers, hi Sprinters, welcome back for a new episode here, Cranky Sprint Chronicles, episode number 40. So let's jump in, 7 tips on how to boost your XP and level up faster on Swift. Number 1, ride on flat routes. Using a TT bike, even better. So riding flat routes lets you maintain a steady high speed, which allows you to cover more distance and earn more XP, experience power, which is the one to increase your level. Using a TT bike helps you maintain a consistent pace without drafting, which is ideal for solo e focus rides. Recommend the flat routes, Tempus Fuji, pretty flat like a pool table, long flat desert route, perfect for covering distance efficiently. TikTok on Watopia, another flat route with minimal elevation to maximize XP. Tip number two, ride with a Robo Pacer and multiply your drops. Swift Pace Partners, aka Robo Pacer, offer a steady pace on various routes, helping you maintain consistent speed and effort. As you ride with them, you learn drops multipliers for complete specific time or distance milestones. Every time you ride with a pace partner you can earn drops which are like a currency in-game where you can for example buy uh, wheels or bikes and these multipliers makes your ride even more rewarding. Every 10 minutes of riding with a pace partner you get a drops multiplier which typically gives you 1.5 the regular drops rewards. Every 5 km readings as well you also get a drop multiplier at intervals. This ensure that you cover distance with a pace partner you learn more drops in less time. Tip number three, get double XP on specific events or missions. Watch out for special events that offer double XP like seasonal challenges, weekly challenges, mission-based rides and also the very famous tour of Watopia where every kilometer you get 40 XP. Tip number four, always explore new routes and try routes with more XP achievements. Completing unique routes for the first time grants you a route achievement bonus which uh, rewards uh, uh, ranking from 100 XP to over 2000 XP. Two with the highest payout are Mega Pretz, uh, challenging 133 kilometers with 2214 meters of elevation. One of the toughest routes, but the rewards is really big, 2500 XP upon completion. Another big one is the Uber Pretzel on Watopia, even more demanding the Mega Pretzel. The Uber Pretzel is 163 kilometers with roughly 2,600 meters of elevation, but you get an impressive 3 thousand XP for finishing it. Tip number five, do some workouts but make sure you use also erg mode. Structure workouts in erg mode grants 10 XP per minute rather than distance based XP which can be a smart choice for gaining XP during high intensity sessions and for example you have a, a John short mix which is a 30 minutes interval workout that gives 300 XP or another training is the sweet spot training one hour workout uh, in the power zone providing 600 XP. Tip number six, you have the Abdu Swift. No! Yes, 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 I know. It's the most difficult, it's one of the most challenging, it's a very long route, but it's gonna give you so many point bonuses so many extra XP. How do Swift climb awards bonus XP at each of its 21 airpin turns, plus an additional XP reward at the summit spin up to 200 XP. I tried it eight times in a row when I was doing my uh, Everesting challenge and you can click on here to have a look at it and I managed to finally win the lightweight wheels. But this is another story. Check out the video. Hi, and you got the wheels. Right way, my mistake. Finally. Let's go back to the video now. Tip number seven, once you're at the summit, like for example, we talk about the Alpine Swift, don't forget to descend. Don't forget to finish your race or your climb on top of the mountain. Make sure you turn your bike and do a descent for free XP. As promised, now I'm gonna tell you how to level up 10 levels in one week. Let's go and have a look at this plan. So level one to two, 1,000, level two to three, 1,500, level three to four, 
2,000 so on. 27,000 uh, total XP needed and average XP per day 3,857. Let's go with the plan. Day one, warm up Tempus Fujit for 10 kilometers. Estimated XP 200. Then you go for route achievements, you complete TikTok, only 10k, 120 XP, and you complete one of the short London routes, like for example Classic, 5.5 kilometers with another 100 XP. The main ride for the day is Tempus Fuji for 40 kilometers and 800 XP. A little bonus activity could be a, a pace partner, a robo pacer for at least 10 kilometers to maintain consistency and get 200 XP. On the day number two, we're gonna go for a group ride and route achievement. So warm up, you can warm up in Richmond, UCI work course in Richmond for around 16 kilometers. Total XP 260. Group ride event, you can choose a group ride that covers around 25, 30 kilometers, like it will be Tour of Utopia if you have, or any other group ride. Estimated XP 600. Extra distance for the day, 20 kilometers on Tempus Fujit, 400 XP. On the day number three, we do a structured workout on Erg Mode. We choose a workout that lasts about one hour for 600 XP, 10 XP per minute. For the route achievements, we go today on the Greater London Loop, 21.2 kilometers and 280 XP. We can also go on Big Loop in Utopia for a similar a medium route 42.4 kilometers route achievement 670 xp cool down with an additional 10 kilometers on flat route to close the gap estimated xp 200 day four is the big day 4000 total xp with our easy ride 10 kilometers on tempus fuji 200 xp Add the swift climb with estimated XP of 1,500, including the summit Spain. Recovery ride after the, the Alp du Swift. I recommend also descending the Alp du Swift for 12 extra kilometers, plus a recovery ride of 20 kilometers on TikTok for another 400 XP. Day 5 is just a free ride with a few extra more route achievements. Volca Volcano Circuit, 4 kilometers just to warm up and 80 XP. Jungle Circuit and Figure 8 for a total of 12 and 29 kilometers will give you an extra 180 XP and 410 XP. Free ride to conclude the day with a Tempus Fujit of 400 XP. Day number six, and we're going towards the end of the week with another roughly 4,000 XP workout in Erg mode. Choose a workout that lasts about one hour, 600 XP. Group ride or event for another 40, 50 kilometers where you can keep a steady pace, zone two, zone three for an estimated XP of a thousand. The final extra ride is just Watopia Hilly Route for a few additional XP, 400 in this case. Last but not least, day number seven, around 4,000 XP again, warm up with 10 km free ride on Tempus Fuji. The route achievement of the day is big foothills in Watopia with 67.5 km. It's a bit of a longer day, route achievement though is 900 XP. Finish it off with a free ride until you reach the last required XP around 30, 40 kilometers, 1,200 XP. Following this plan correctly would mean achieving between 28,000 and probably more than 30,000 XP for a week, boosting your levels with the possibility to get few extra bikes, which I'm gonna talk about on the next video. But for now, please support my work for a like subscribe the channel and leave a comment down below what you think about this plan is from level 1 to level 30 but i will improve my plan so stay tuned you can download the plan for free in the description i'm not going to ask you anything but also if you like to click on the link description below there's always the option if you like to offer me a coffee i'm still working on the plan because i want to bring you from level 0 to level 100 as fast as possible subscribe the channel so you'll see when the full plan will be completed at the end now you know how to boost your xp and it's time to get the best bikes in the game and win all the races click on the video here to get all the best bikes in game and await you here as usual next thursday 6 30 pm london time